Welcome to the Infographic Show Tourism Bureau. The world is opening up and we're excited to send you on a trip around the world. You say you're ready for a more daring vacation? We'll see about that. Get ready to explore the 13 places you're too scared to visit. Number 13. North Yungas Road If you want to see the Amazon from a unique vantage point, head to Bolivia. But be ready to take your life into your own hands. The North Yungas Road is the best way to travel from La Paz to Puerto Rico, and it'll give you a stunning view, 15,000 feet above sea level. But you won't be traveling in style. This is a single lane road only 12 feet across, and there are no guardrails anywhere in sight. That high rain and fog can hit at any time, and you're only one wrong move away from a long way down. It's no surprise that this road gained the name the Death Road. At worst, the road used to see over 200 deaths annually. Making it more confusing, it was the only road in the country with left-hand traffic, although this was done to increase visibility. A long renovation process ended in 2006 and made the road safer, and now it's become a popular destination for adventurous mountain bikers. One thing hasn't changed, though, the stunning and terrifying view, which attracts daring travelers to the South American country every year. It's enough to put you in a hospital for stress, but preferably not one which is our next place you're too scared to visit. Number 12. Bielitz Heilstatten Hospital Bielitz is a sleepy town in Brandenburg, Germany, mostly known for growing some of the world's best white asparagus. Hardly scary unless you're a picky eater. But in the Bielitz Heilstatten district lies a monument to the town's dark history, a massive hospital that operated before World War I. It served as both a military hospital and a tuberculosis sanatorium. It was occupied by the Red Army after World War II but is most notorious for hosting a recuperating soldier during World War I, a soldier by the name of Adolf Hitler. Following the Soviet occupation, the complex was revamped, but it's mostly abandoned today. Its notorious surgical and psychiatric wards have fallen into disrepair, with nature and vandalism turning them into ghost towns. You can wander around the abandoned rooms filled with rusty beds and broken down medical equipment and wonder which ghosts of the bloodiest wars in human history are watching. This next site offers a stunning view into oblivion. Number 11. The Great Blue Hole Welcome to Belize, a beautiful Central American country with stunning blue waters and pristine beaches. And off the coast you'll find Lighthouse Reef, a small atoll known as one of the best scuba diving sites in the world. That's because in the center you'll find a hole where the blue water seems to go down and down and down, possibly forever. No one who swims over it can see the bottom and it doesn't descend naturally, instead it seems to suddenly drop off, as if it was a path leading straight to the center of the world. But how deep can it possibly be? Famous researcher Jacques Cousteau was fascinated with the site and famously made an expedition deep inside it. He took his ship, the Calypso, deep below the surface and found that it wasn't a purely steep drop. Rather, there were four stages before it reached the apparent bottom of at around 125 feet. In 2018, submarines created a fuller picture of the bottom of the hole and found that it was much deeper, at least 300 feet, and nothing could survive down there. It's a popular tourist destination for those who enjoy swimming near the closest thing to the edge of the world, from water to fire. Come along to our next stop, but prepare for some heat. Number 10. The Door to Hell No one's sure why a natural gas field in Darvaza, Turkmenistan turned into a massive fire pit. Records from the Soviet era are spotty, but some reports indicate that after a massive collapse threatened to release deadly methane gas, the Soviets deliberately set it on fire to neutralize it. Whatever the facts, one thing is certain, it's big. With a diameter of over 200 feet and a depth of almost 100 feet, it covers one whole acre, and it's been burning for decades. Despite its terrifying appearance, the area seems stable. It's a superficial gas pocket which has created a depression. The pit contains a mix of fire and boiling mud. And the area surrounding it is relatively safe because the powerful desert winds spread the gases around too quickly for them to be concentrated. Underneath, the gas reserve is one of the biggest in the world, but the gates of hell have their own appeal. The government of Turkmenistan has been trying to promote the site for camping and tourism, for those who dare to get close. Is that a little too intense? How about a nice trip to a theme park instead? Number 9. Hapar Villa A small roadside theme park located in Singapore Hapar Villa is different from the usual fare. You won't find any roller coasters here. Instead, it's best known for its huge collection of statues and dioramas, themed to local folklore and the principles of Confucianism. But that little park has a dark edge. From the start, its figures can be alarming for those not familiar with the lore. 
You won't be greeted by Mickey when you enter. Instead, you'll expect to see a large statue of a giant crab with a human head. And that's before you get to the dark stuff. The most famous attraction is the Ten Courts of Hell, a chilling selection of dioramas originally set within the body of a massive dragon. There, lucky tourists get to see depictions of the tortures of the evil that will endure within the hell of Chinese and Buddhist lore. Unfortunately, sinners are cut in half, dismembered, or impaled into a pile of knives, with each torture accompanied by a description of what the person in the statue did to deserve it. The perfect place to take a kid who's been acting up on vacation. The next site is one of the most unique, beautiful locations in the world, and one of the deadliest. Number 8. Kawa Ijen Volcano in Java, Indonesia, daring tourists can bear witness to one of nature's greatest wonders, a large volcano that belches gas and lava. But not the kind you know. The molten liquid that pours from the volcano is a stunning shade of blue, and this creates stunning lights that can be seen at night. And for those there in the day, there's another strange wonder awaiting them. The lake surrounding the volcano has turned a bright shade of green. It's almost like visiting an alien landscape. But this beauty has a dark secret. The Ijen volcano gets unique properties from a massive amount of sulfuric gas. It becomes superheated and reaches temperatures of over 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, exploding as it reaches open air. The liquid lava-like sulfur that pours down the volcano then seeps into the water, meaning the Green Lake is one of the most acidic locations in the world. This makes the entire area a beautiful and deadly place and one of the world's top locations for sulfur mining. It's not the only location where you'll see some unnatural colors. But you'll have to go much further for this next one. Number 7. Blood Falls There's not much to see in Antarctica. Ice, penguins, and maybe an eldritch nightmare. If you head to Taylor Glacier in East Antarctica, you'll witness something deeply unsettling. The glacier seems to be bleeding, and the blood flow never stops even as the rest of the glacier stays frozen solid. What is this eerie dark red liquid seeping from the white glacier, and what does it hint at what's lurking inside? The answer goes back millions of years. Five million years ago, the formation of the glacier trapped a lake within, and the microbes within the lake were completely cut off from the rest of the world. The water became increasingly concentrated and loaded with salt and iron ore. This raised the water's freezing point, and when a fissure opened in the glacier, the blood came oozing out. It's a natural wonder with no real threat to anyone, and it may even give us some clues as to what Earth was like millions of years ago. But that doesn't make it any less unsettling. For this next visit, you'd better be ready to come up close and personal with nature. Number 6. Gomantong Caves In a wildlife preserve in Malaysia lies a massive cave system. The caves are best known for being a site to harvest the unique bird nests made from saliva that are used in traditional soup, and only one of the two cave systems is open to general public. The larger cave, Simad Puti, requires specialized caving equipment to access. But this is the site of the more valuable nests, which causes many people to brave it. But they're about to meet some less than friendly residents. The caves are dominated by one of the largest bat populations in the world, a massive colony of over 200,000 individuals. This has led to a massive, thick layer of guano covering the caves. And if that isn't enough, the cave is also home to several million Malaysian hissing cockroaches, one of the largest cockroaches in the world. Scared yet? You don't know what else you'll encounter, including scorpions, snakes, and even poisonous centipedes that grow to three inches long. Is any soup worth this? We're heading back to Europe for our next stop so we can pay tribute to the dead. Number 5. Capuchin Catacombs In the city of Palermo, the European tradition of catacombs, where the dead are laid to rest, lives on. But few catacombs provide the disturbing visuals this one does. Originally started by a monastery that had outgrown its cemetery, they dehydrated and preserved bodies. Their friars were often dressed in their traditional wear as they were put on display, and it became a place for relatives to visit and pay tribute to those laid to rest there. And it soon grew far beyond its original purpose. Between 1871 and 1920, countless prominent citizens of the city were laid to rest inside. While most are skeletons still dressed in their traditional clothing, other bodies were eerily preserved with a chemical formula and sealed away. A toddler girl buried in the catacombs a hundred years ago still looks as if she was merely sleeping today. Today, anyone can walk among the over 9,000 dead and witness a piece of Palermo history, eerily still. Wait, did something move out of the corner of your eye? <sighs> Probably not. This next spot doesn't look like much, but it means instant death. Number 4. The Bolton Strait the River Wharf is a nice, relaxing place for a walk in Yorkshire, England. You pass by a nearly thousand-year-old church along the way, but nearby watch your step. 
you're near one of the deadliest bodies of water in the world. It's known as the Bolton Strid, and it has a morbid distinction. Every single person who has fallen into the water has drowned, with many of their bodies never being found. What makes this little creek so deadly? The Strid is near a wide river about 30 feet across. The water is slow and quiet, but as it hits the Bolton Strid, the water gets shoved into a thin six-foot creek. The water becomes compressed, causing it to flow faster and become violent. Anyone who falls inside gets tossed around inside a deadly stream and bashed against craggy rock walls. If the drowning doesn't kill you, the blunt force trauma will. No one knows exactly how many lives the Bolton Strid has claimed, but the first documented death was in the 1100s, and the most recent only in 2010. This next location is desolate, but has plenty of residents. Number 3. Nagoro A tiny Japanese village on the island of Shikoku, Nagoro used to be a thriving small town with around 300 inhabitants, but Japan's aging population meant many small villages shrunk, and at last count, Nagoro only had about 27 residents. But that doesn't mean the village is empty, because you'll walk around and see plenty of residents all around the town, but very few of them are human. In the early 2000s, a woman moved back to the village to care for her aging father and made a doll in his likeness. This turned into a hobby, and she designed over 400 dolls and placed them around the village. The village no longer has a school because it doesn't have enough children, but the empty schoolhouse is still full of dolls. Wherever you go, the dolls are waiting. Why don't you pay them a visit? This town's population is dwindling too, but for a very different reason. Number 2. Centralia In 1962, Centralia, Pennsylvania was a mining town in decline, but it was in late 1962 that the town's fate was sealed, when an attempt to burn waste in a dump leaked into the coal tunnels below. This created a massive underground fire, one that burns to this day. Sinkholes started erupting around town and the gas that came out of the pumps was abnormally hot. The condition of the town deteriorated to the point that most of the residents moved out, and eventually the state invoked eminent domain to shutter the town for good. But is Centralia truly a ghost town? Not exactly. Visiting the town today is an eerie sight. The road is cracked and filled with graffiti. Buildings are abandoned, smoke can still be seen from the subterranean fires, and it's estimated they may burn for another 250 years. But Centralia isn't totally abandoned, seven residents still remain, aging in place under an agreement that'll turn the property over to the state when they die. But this is one ghost town that isn't looking for visitors. But if you want to find the creepiest place in the world, you have to go to the site of one of history's greatest disasters. Number 1. Pripyat How does an entire city disappear? In Ukraine, Pripyat was a thriving city of almost 50,000 in 1986, but it was in the shadow of the Chernobyl nuclear plant. When the famous meltdown happened, the city had to be completely evacuated in only two days, and it remains abandoned to this day. The schools still have books in them, photographs of decades ago can still be seen in their frames. But if you want to visit Pripyat's most famous sites, they're still waiting for you, just a little more rusted. Pripyat was home to an amusement park complete with a towering ferris wheel. It still stands today, its yellow cars looking like they could start moving again at any moment. As the years passed, the forest around the abandoned city grew, and Pripyat became a disaster for adventurous travelers. But it may be getting more soon, because a TV series about the Chernobyl disaster made Pripyat even more famous, and it's now an official tourist attraction. For where not to go now that the world is opening up again, check out Avoid These Tourist Spots When Traveling After the Pandemic, or watch this video instead.